Metro Manila fuels a large part of the Philippine economy. Because of the strong economic activities in the area, it attracts rural migrants in search for better jobs. However, the recent decades have seen the rapid urbanization and overpopulation of Metro Manila's urban poor communities. This has led to the increase of informal settler families, or ISFs, in the area. Informal settlements often lack basic infrastructure and services, security of tenure, social networks, and employment opportunities. The government, in partnership with various institutions, continues to help these families in danger zones, primarily in waterways, in finding a safer place to live in. It launched the 50 billion Special Housing Fund, implemented under the lead of the Department of Interior and Local Government. We provided a package of technical assistance to the government, uh, ranging from uh, policy level to the project level. Through these uh, technical advice, Shafsi was able to open up a new product line as High Density Window, which is serving the informal settlers living along the danger zones to help them really relocate to safer in-city housing accommodations with affordable price. The High Density Housing Program, or HDH, under the Social Housing Finance Corporation, or SHFC, is one of the innovative shelter finance programs designed and launched to participate in the specialized housing program. Those eligible for the program are organized informal settler communities living in danger areas, especially in waterways within Metro Manila. High density housing program is uh, the implementation of the 50 billion uh, fund of the Aquino government. Tayo po ay patuloy na nagkikipag-unayan sa local government units, particularly po sa pag-implement natin natin ng SOS ng High Density Housing. Under the HDH program, the SHFC provides loan assistance to organized communities for their in-city or near-city housing program. It sets a maximum loan ceiling of 450,000 pesos per family, payable for up to 30 years with 4.5% interest per year. It also provides subsidies for indirect costs and capacity building programs, among others. For projects that have a total cost equal or above to 90 million, the SHFC buys the land and enters into a usufruct, tenural arrangement with the community, making the land cost a subsidy. This makes the project more viable to the ISFs. Two schemes of HDH program have been successfully built through the collaboration of the government, the community, and other partner organizations and agencies. One of the HDH schemes is the regular HDH financing. This scheme allows the community to acquire loans for land acquisition, building construction, and site development. It can take on a large scale or small scale in city housing program that utilizes a community driven housing strategy in planning and implementing their relocation. The Ambaka Housing Project is a large scale housing program that has helped 1,440 families living near the Tulian River and under power transmission lines in Valenzuela. With an organized community and partner non government organization, they are able to build the homes they dream of. Uh, naumpisa ito doon sa mga notice for demolition nung nakatira kami doon sa Sitio Solok Riverside sa tabi ng Tulyahan. Hindi naman kami against doon sa pagpapaalis kaya umanap kami ng paraan kung paano matutugunan yung mayroon kaming matirahan lahat na nakatira doon. Through the help of different non-government organizations, the Mbaka community is empowered to take on the responsibility of handling the housing project. Ernestville, on the other hand, is an example of a small-scale project that has availed of the regular HDH financing. In 2008, the Ernestville Homeowners Association, composed of 212 members from the ISFs and formal settlers affected by Typhoon Andoy, was established. Since then, the community started working on the People's Plan through the help of the Foundation for the Development of the Urban Poor. Maganda po yung, ano, yung effect ng 
community driven kasi po yung mga tao kinonsulta talaga namin ngayon po nakikita nila na nag-uumpisa na, na ginagawa itong magiging bahay namin tatanong naman kung kailan daw itatayo ulit yung panibagong mga buildings at excited na po silang lumipat talaga Refinancing is another scheme in HDH program. The local government unit plays a big role in the realization of this housing program. Initially, the LGU finances the land acquisition, develops the site, and constructs the building. Then, the community will apply for a loan to SHFC, and the SHFC will pay the LGU through the loan proceeds. Bistecville 2 in Quezon City is one of the examples of this scheme. The members of the community are composed of the ISFs and the middle-class families. So, dito sa community na to, we are trying to bridge the gap between the rich and the poor. So, may bosses ang ISF dito. Hindi sila na iiwan sa mga decision at mga activities. More than just giving a new place to live in, the ISFs are also enabled to take on their responsibilities, given the privilege of living a fresh start in their own homes. These communities start income-generating activities like livelihood programs that will enable them to pay their monthly amortization to SHFC. Lahat ng pupunta dito sa amin, sinasabi namin, paano sila makakatulong sa amin. Sabi ko, bigyan niyo po kami livelihood. Kasi may bahay nga kami kung hindi naman namin masustain yung pagbabayad. Pupunin din sa amin. Kaya nga po kami nagsisikap na makapag-livelihood para the community involvement in these housing programs produced change in the mindset of every informal settler. They are given new hope, making them realize that there is a brighter future ahead of them in the city. Napakalaki pong katipiran na kami po na relocate po dito lang sa city, dito lang po malapit sa amin trabaho, malapit sa school. Decente yung naging pamumuhay na namin dito. Tapos ngayon, parang ando doon yung contentment. Bagamat meron kang inaalalang responsibilidad na babayaran mo sa ganitong pecha ng bawat buwan. Yung pagkakaroon ng bahay, pangarap lang yun sa amin eh, sa tulad namin. Kasi alam naman namin kung gaano, mag, kung gaano ang halaga para magkaroon ka ng bahay sa syudad. Part of the work of SHFC is to institutionalize the High Density Housing Program. So what SHFC would want to do is to expand it to cities outside NCR who would also have communities living in danger areas. Homelessness is a problem faced by the urban poor communities. And our government, through the HDH program of SHFC, believes that the poor is part of the solution. Through People's Plan, more and more ISFs can continue living in the city with their new home and with hope revived.